Angelina Jolie's courageous announcement that she had a double mastectomy to lower her chances of getting breast cancer has sparked lots of discussion about women's health. Cher Calvin here with one local survivor's story who can personally relate to Jolie's genetic condition, Cher. Well, Micah, while Angelina Jolie's preventative double mastectomy is certainly rare, she is not alone. And today on the 1 o'clock news, we talked to one woman who found out she was genetically disposed to both ovarian and breast cancer. Lisa J. Davis, just like Angelina Jolie, decided to be proactive about her health. Lisa's 51-year-old sister passed away from ovarian cancer, and it was her gynecologist that strongly suggested she get tested for the BRCA gene. Even before my sister passed away, she had been trying to persuade me to get the genetic screening. Lisa tested positive for the BRCA gene, which meant that she had between a 60 and 85 percent chance of developing breast cancer. Lisa decided to remove both ovaries and breasts, and at the same time of the double mastectomy, Lisa had reconstruction surgery to replace the breasts. Lisa went to Dr. Kasselith. Now, we don't have to have chemotherapy, we don't have to have radiation, but what we can do is a very small, small short scar to do complete mastectomy, removal of breast tissue, yeah. leave the nipple in areola, so the results aesthetically are phenomenal compared to that of sometimes a traditional mastectomy. Being proactive, like Lisa, according to Dr. Kasselith, is a 95% cure. But there is that chance that some tissue could be left behind after a mastectomy that could eventually become cancerous. But it's a mere 5% chance. The risks are so low that we don't continue to screen that person for breast cancer. Those that should strongly consider getting tested for the BRCA gene? Any woman should be questioning if she has the gene, if she has a first degree relative, so we're talking mother, sister, and okay. even who's had breast cancer, especially premenopausal. So mothers who had it at the age of 30s, 40s, they should consider getting tested for the gene. The test is a simple in office saliva test or blood test with information about your genetic makeup that could save your life. Well, the test for the BRCA gene is covered by most insurance, but can cost up to $3,000. And not all insurance companies cover preventative mastectomy, which many doctors say carries its own risks. For more information on reconstruction surgery and gene mutations, go to our website, ktla.com. Micah? Sure, thanks.